Hi, I'm Dr. John Carazella, and I'd like to talk to you about andropause, low testosterone, or simply low T. Seems like you hear about this everywhere you turn these days, and yes, it is common. Did you know that the incidence of low testosterone is reaching epidemic proportions? According to the highly respected Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, testosterone levels in men have been declining steadily for decades. In fact, since 1987, overall testosterone levels in men have fallen nearly 20%, and they really don't know why. Now, I could make a couple of educated guesses like environmental toxicity, medications that interfere with testosterone production, radiation, or just plain simple evolutionary decline. However, low T is not good for men's health. Perhaps you know what I mean. Have you noticed an overall decline in your general well-being? Have you lost a step to the younger guys in your office? Are you more irritable and nervous? Perhaps you're just not as good in your love life as you once used to be. And there's more. Beyond these everyday annoyances, over the long run, low testosterone can lead to heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, cholesterol problems, osteoporosis, and a host of serious other medical conditions, including cancer. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to enjoy my older years, and I plan to do as much as I can to minimize the chances of me getting those nasty conditions. One of the things that I know to do and is essential in avoiding these medical problems and more is to keep my testosterone at safe and medical literature supported healthy levels. As an expert in this field, I would encourage you all to do the same. Every day that passes is another day toward potentially unwanted or debilitating illness. So act now, click on the link below and you'll be taken to a short survey to see if you might potentially have low T. If you do, I'll tell you what your next steps should be. So click on the link below and get to back to the life that you should have. I'm Dr. John Carazzo.